Hey YouTube, it's Bethany here. Um, I just first of all wanted to say I'm very sorry in taking so long and doing a new update. It has been a crazy couple of weeks. Um, my husband and I went out of town and I don't know, just a lot of things were going on. Um, I know that I said that I was going to do an up like a live pregnancy test video and I tried to film two of those and they bo uh, were both negative and it was just like me bawling my eyes out in the bathroom and I really didn't want to put that on the internet so unfortunately last cycle did not work well I, I, let me rephrase that the cloma did work I did ovulate cloma did what it was supposed to do but I did not get pregnant so whatever it has been devastating honestly um, I got really depressed for the last week um, yeah very upsetting I was so we were both just so confident that it was gonna work and I kept on I started testing I know this is stupid I started testing like 7 and 8 DPO and whenever I got up to like 10 11 I mean, whenever I was like 11, 12, 13 DPO and it was still negative is whenever I really started getting upset. And then I started my period on, I think, 14 or 15 DPO. Sorry, I heard somebody outside and I thought they were like knocking on my door, but it's not. I think it's just kids playing. Anyway, yeah, I, I was really, really, really upset. Balled my eyes out for like a couple days. Just depressed awful but moving on we're going to the next cycle I am tell me what you think about my hair too like <laughs> I didn't feel like fixing it today so I just took a shower dried it and then braided it <laughs> whatever didn't feel like fixing it so whatever and it's finally spring here I live in West Virginia and the last couple weeks have been like freaking freezing this time last year it was like in the 80s and it's been in the 40s this year so it's been awful and today is like the first really pretty day. It's like 60 degrees and I don't know. I'm just really excited. Anyway, off topic. So I thought this was like a cute springish look. Anyway. <laughs> um, so what we've decided to do this cycle is I'm not going to take the Clomid. It was just so much last, sem or last semester, last cycle on me. I was obsessed like OCD about every little thing. I woke, like I set my alarm on my cell phone to wake me up at 3 a.m. every morning to take my temperature. I was losing sleep. I overanalyzed every little symptom or cough, sneeze, crap that has nothing to even do with being pregnant or conceiving. I was like, oh, you know, I just... It consumed my life. It consumed me. So, what I have, well, what we have decided to do is, we're still trying. Um, I'm just not going to be on the Clomid this cycle. I really would like to lose some weight. So, I've been really the last, oops, probably like two weeks, I've been really, really, really trying to eat healthier. I'm down like four pounds, so that's not bad in a couple weeks. Um, I would like to lose 10 pounds is my short term goal and then my long term goal is 25. So I've been doing the couch to 5k program. I'm on week, I just did week three day one today. So that's going well. I love it. It's, it's really, really nice. It's a great program. It has a cool app too. So if you download the app, it's really, it starts you out slow and builds you up every day, every, every week. So yeah, check that out. But anyway, yeah, we're um we're still trying. I just I'm not taking the Clomid. I um would like to lose some weight. Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, I'm really well, we're both pretty upset about it. But who knows, maybe we'll get pregnant this cycle without any medication at all. Yeah, you know, it's just one of those things. But I just really need a at least one cycle off like like I said, we're still trying. Like, it's not like I'm going on birth control or anything, but we're still trying. But I just need one cycle where I'm not, like, so obsessed with it. I need a break. I need to relax, you know? 
so that's that. Um, let's see. I feel really bad because in the last couple videos I posted, I was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to post a, a live testing video, but I just, I couldn't do it. Every time I, every time I tested it, it was just awful, and I was just, is that a line, is that a line, is that a line, and then I was like, no, it's freaking dark white, and then ball my eyes out. So whatever. This next cycle, I'm not even going to start testing until my period is late. If it is late, I just can't do it again. So that's that. Um, but anyway, if you have any questions like regarding the Clomid itself, let me know because I'm still pretty happy with Clomid. I didn't have very many side effects. I I just had well close to the time where my period was due. Um, like probably around like 12, 13, 14 DPO, I got some crazy hot flashes again. Like at least at least a couple times a day I would get a hot flash. Um, it wasn't awful. It was just like enough to be like, whew, it's hot in here. Open the windows, go outside when it was like 35, 40 degrees to cool off. Other than that, um, that was my basically my only side like major side effect. I really liked it. Um, it did what it was supposed to do for me. I took it cycle days 5 through 9, and I know I ovulated at least one egg. Who knows, maybe two. Um, but neither of them got fertilized. So, um, yeah, like I said, we're taking this cycle off. I went ahead and, off of Clomid at least, I went ahead and filled my prescription with, um, for this next month. And I was hoping that, the, that my doctor would have upped the milligrams, because I was on 50 before. I was hoping that like he would do 100 the, ne the next cycle and then 150 if I still hadn't conceived for the third cycle. Because he only said he was going to prescribe three cycles of Clomid. But I went ahead and filled the prescription and I'll probably take it next month if it, this month doesn't work. Um, but for right now, TTC is kind of on the back burner. I mean, we're still trying. We're just kind of going with the flow, you know. Who knows? Maybe that's maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe we just need to relax and it'll work. But for now, I'm focusing on school, finishing up the semester. I'm, I'm in nursing school, if y'all didn't know. Um, and losing weight and exercising. And so far, I'm really liking it. I do the Zumba. I've been running at the gym and the treadmills. I've been lifting weights with my husband. It's been really fun. But... Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know how much I'm going to update. It just depends on how I feel this next cycle. I just can't have another cycle like last time. I mean, even my even my chart was so convincing. Like, I temped every day, and it looked triphasic. Like, it had, you know, down here was the um, uh, follicular phase, and you could see the luteal phase where I definitely ovulated. I had my crosshairs. Like, it definitely, <laughs> definitely ovulated. And then around, like, um... I think six or seven DPO, it shot, my temperature shot up again, and stayed up there until 14 or 15 DPO, like, it looked triphasic, I even posted it on a website, like, I think on Baby Center, I made a post, and it was like, everybody agreed, was like, yeah, that's triphasic, even my, my husband's cousin's wife looked at it, um, and she's like, you're pregnant, like, there's no doubt on mine, you are pregnant, like, your chart is just beautiful, you're freaking pregnant, and I got so excited, and not, pregnant at all so anyway sorry I made this way too long just to basically say I'm not pregnant and sorry for the lack of updates recently and I probably won't update very much this next cycle unless something crazy happens I'm not temping I'm probably not doing OPKs I say that now but I probably will at least do the OPKs but I'm just not gonna let it consume not gonna let it consume me like it did last month so Anyway, thank you girls. I still, I've been getting constant, um, more subscribers every day, even though I haven't really done videos. So thank you all so much. Um, I really appreciate it. I love the comments. I love the subscribers. So thank you guys for sticking around and try to bear with me this next 30 days or so because I'm, I just really need a break. And <laughs> anyway, thanks again. Um, tomorrow's Easter. So happy Easter to everybody if you all, um, celebrate that, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks. See you later.